we're having a little mini heat wave in England. It's a great surprise. It's not often we get this kind of weather, so it's been an opportunity for me to have a bit of a walk out this evening. It's uh, eight o'clock in the evening, it's gorgeous. It's still well into the twenties. So I'm having a walk around my beautiful city. So I thought I'd just come out and have a chat with you guys and also to test out my lovely new little gadget, the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. What I wanted to talk about wasn't the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 or even this beautiful city. Although as I go around, I'll give you the opportunity to see parts of it. A good friend of mine sent me a story tonight, a fable you might call it. It goes something like this. A young man was walking along the beach and he encountered a fisherman with a single pole. So he walked over to the fisherman and he said, hey, you want to get yourself another pole? then you could catch more fish. To which the fisherman said, why? The young man replied, well then if you caught even more fish, you could buy a boat and then you could catch even more fish. To which the fisherman replied, why? The young man replied again, well then you could get another boat and catch even more fish. To which the fisherman replied, why? The young man replied, well then you could have a fleet of fishing boats and catch more and more fish. To which the fisherman replied, why? The young man replied, then you could sell your fleet and retire and do anything you want. To which the fisherman replied, well I'm already doing that. When I received that story and I read it, it made me think back to the days of my youth and the life goals that you set yourself when you're in your 20s and your 30s. Now that I'm 63, I can't help feeling that they were such silly goals at the time. Although, in fairness, they did serve a purpose. They drove me to do the things I did to advance my career, which then resulted in me starting a business. And then I worked all I was God sent to build that small business. And a bit like the fisherman with his fleet of ships, I was able to sell that business and retire and do anything I want. So that's my fable, that's my story. But I often see people who are in their 50s who are still harbouring those ambitions and still have those life goals. The type of goals that you have when you're in your 20s and your 30s. And that's just plain silly. So here's just one or two life goals that I think you really should ditch if you've hit 50. The first life goal that you really need to ditch is career advancement. It's time to accept that your career is coming to an end. And if you haven't accepted that, then you really need to, because you haven't got that many more years on the planet, whether you like it or not. The modal age of death for a man in the UK is 87. Well, if you manage to make it to 87, well done, but there's a good chance that you won't. So why are you still pursuing a career? Why are you still driving yourself forward? when you're in your 50s. The second life goal that it's time to start dropping is getting an even bigger house every time you move. There comes a point where you just don't want to be doing that anymore. A few years ago, my wife and I, we decided to downsize from our large farmhouse in the country into a smaller townhouse in the city and it was the best thing we could have done. If you're still pursuing a bigger house and all the things that come with that, the costs, the maintenance and all that kind of stuff, just so you can be Lord of the Manor, just so you can be the big knob on the hill, then I think it's time to have a bit of a rethink. I was just about to record the third thing, the life goal that you should ditch when uh, one of the policemen from the York Minster told me that they're closing the park and he was just about to kick me out. So here's an opportunity before I go to actually film what the park looks like. The third thing on my list of things that you should drop when you reach 50 is the chasing of material possessions. And by that I mean things like cars, watches, fashionable clothes and gadgets galore. There comes a point in life where you really need to realise that those things are utterly meaningless and the only thing that really means anything in life are experiences, preferably with your family and your friends. 
The next life goal that you should ditch, and this is a bit of a silly one, it's something that's been on my mind for a long time, is the pursuit of physical excellence. And in particular, and in my case, for many men, it's the achievement of a six pack. I think there comes a point where you just have to give up on that. It just isn't worth it. Nobody wants to get their body out when they're in the 60s. And certainly the pursuit of a six pack is something you don't want to be doing. Well, that was a close call. I nearly got run over when I was talking about a six pack. But anyway, that's the one. The final thing on my list is the pursuit of body excellence. OK, so if those are the things that you should ditch, the silly life goals that don't serve you well after 50, what are the type of things that you should be pursuing? Well, in my humble opinion, once you get past 50, you should be looking to experience life. And that means spending time with family, friends, traveling, indulging your hobbies, and doing all the things that you couldn't do because you were too busy working. So my family and friends are under firm instructions not to buy me any physical presents. I don't want watches, I don't want any stuff. There are some exceptions, obviously these fantastic t-shirts that I wear, representing the pop bands that I loved in my youth, that goes without saying. But other than that, I want them to buy me experiences for my birthday, for Christmas, and next year for my 40th wedding anniversary. Yes, next year is my 40th wedding anniversary, and that is gonna be a great opportunity to tick a few things off the bucket list. Hopefully, it'll be a Canada and Alaska cruise, because that's number one on my list. Number two on my list is a 100-day cruise. I think I might have to wait a few years for that one. So that was me walking around York this evening, testing out my new little gadget the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. So I'll just leave you with a few scenes of York. We'll start off with this one here, which is Constantine the Great, 274 to 337. According to this plaque, Constantine the Great, 274 to 337. Near this place, Constantine was proclaimed Roman Emperor in 306. So there you go. York had a Roman Emperor. Hope you've enjoyed this little jaunt around York this evening. It's a beautiful city, 2,000 years old. I'll show a lot more of it in future videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.